I rarely thought about all this until a few years ago when I went to an old friend's wedding. In college, she'd been a feminist, very progressive politically. Now she'd chosen to marry a man she barely knew, circling him to show that her life would revolve around him and Orthodox Judaism forever. It was hard to believe. What surprised me at the wedding was that the Orthodox women I met were smart and well-educated. They told me the fastest growing Jewish communities in the U.S. are Orthodox. I was fascinated. These young women had so many choices. Why were they choosing such a traditional religious life? Why would they want to live so strictly by the Torah, an ancient text written and interpreted by men? Let the words of the Torah be burnt before being handed over to women. The glance of a menstruous woman poisons the air. A woman is a pitcher full of filth, yet all run after her. Women are greedy eavesdroppers, lazy and envious. A woman is subservient to her husband and should be free to tend to his needs. I felt compelled to find out more. Little did I know I was beginning a journey that would challenge many of my assumptions about women and make me face the fact that not only were my parents Jewish, so was I. Oh, come kiss me! No, who cares? Come. You're not going to pull off my face. It's there forever. Mazel tov. Thank you, Amish. Empty party. Then I remembered someone I really liked at the wedding, Ruth's friend Miriam. Like Ruth, Miriam was a young woman when she joined the Chabad community. I had been in the community long enough to have heard that's the way you're encouraged to get into Judaism, is by finding the people who can be your guides, because they're, by the grace of God, put in your life to do that for you. Ruth Devorah was offering this lifestyle to me. I was courting it. And I was kind of there at the edge, kind of getting, putting my feet in. But she was in saying, come swim in Torah with me. Miriam clearly loved this life. I was surprised to learn she was no longer part of this community. It's been about six years since I was here last studying and hanging out in this community and it feels on the one hand great, like it feels like I'm home in a kind of way, it's very celebratory and I feel like a rush of how I used to feel around these you know, people, just like such respect and I feel like humbled and appreciative to be here and I enjoy them. It's just so ironic because on the one hand, I feel the power of it and the romance and the beauty and the spirituality in this. Like, it's not just for show. It's been lovely tonight, but it's, there's, a, there's a lot of depth behind all of the ritual. And I'm just like, it's like, but it's not, I can't be part of it. <laughs> 